option for all Caterpillar articulated trucks is payload. And how does it work? Let's talk about the lights first. Well, those lights now uh, and this payload system works two ways. It lets you utilize this machine to its capacity. So if you have a 730 or a 745, that one holds 31 tons, this one holds 45.2, you want to haul 45.2 tons. But you don't want to haul 48 or 49 or 50. So if you think about it in terms of utilization, now we know when this truck's at capacity based on that light system and the payload. The other thing that it does is if you have a machine that costs you money to uh, maintain, now you can better um, track your costs by keeping this machine at that 40, at that rated capacity. So the lights come on when five tons hits the bed. So when five tons goes in this machine or that one, we turn that light on green. It stays green until 75%. 75% it starts flashing red. Okay, a flashing red light means what? There's a stop sign coming up, right? Be prepared to stop. Okay, typically, and why we make it flash at 75, is that's the last pass of that loading tool. Okay, so last pass, lights are flashing, here comes that last pass, it goes solid red at 95%. Okay, it goes solid red at 95% to let the loading tool know that we've hit our target. Okay, those same two lights will come on in the display. So once that first bit uh, load hits the truck, seven, five tons, on the display populates payload. And he can watch that truck get loaded. It has the same two lights that turn red and green. Plus, if he put in 8.4 tons in the first one, that will populate on the screen. And you can watch it incrementally go up. So you can watch your truck get loaded sitting in the cab. So now who's on the same page? The guy that's loading and the guy in the cab. Because who's responsible for the load? The guy in the cab, right? <clears throat> so you want to make sure that you're on the same page. That allows that to happen. So that's what the lights do. So how does a strain gauge measure? So they are bolted onto the side of the walking beams. And as material goes into the bed of this truck, it puts um, stress. stress on those walking, and that, that metal inside there changes shape and form. And I doesn't mean it's squished, you can't squeeze metal with just weight on it, but it changes shape and, and form in there. And those strain gauges, you measure stress uh, with a strain gauge, it causes strain, and then you can measure that with a strain gauge. So, so we're able to calculate payload based on how the metal changes in shape and form on those walking beams. Mm -hmm. We use eight strain gauges back here all across the walking beam to get a much more accurate weighment. We're constantly weighing ourselves from A to B and from B back to A to get loaded for, in case we have carryback. All right? So a, a pretty unique system that, that we've got here.